So the question is, Matt, Cliff, Renee, Bobo, are you ready? It's time for Maths with Mr. Thomas. Welcome to chapter 13. This is the Euclidean algorithm chapter. And we're starting it off by looking at number bases and using the division algorithm. So let's start off with this number 4,376. We call it 4,000. 376 because with the 4,000 part we could write that as 4 times a 1,000 and a 1,000 you can write as 10 to the power of 3 so it's 4 times 10 to the power of 3. With the 300 part we could write that as 3 times 100 and 100 you could write as 10 squared. With 70 from the 76 on the end, 70 you can write as 7 times 10, or 10 to the power of 1. And the 6 on the end you could just write as 6, but because we're writing all the other numbers as something times 10 to the power of something, well 6 you could say would be times 10 to the power of 0. So, that number there, 4,376, what we say with it is it's written in terms of base 10. And we can put the little 10 on the end there to show that that number is in base 10. It's written using the times 10 to the power of something. That is also known as the decimal system. And it's the decimal system that we use every single day to easily understand numbers. However, what we can also do is we could write this number, 4,376, and really any number, in terms of another base as well. So say we had to write it in terms of base 12. What that would mean is we would have something times 12 to the power of 0, we're adding on something times 12 to the power of 1, add something times 12 to the power of 2, add something times 12 to the power of 3. The answer that we get for this one is it's 2 times 12 to the power of 3. We would add on 6 times 12 to the power of 2, add on 4 times 12 to the power of 1, and add on 8 times 12 to the power of 0. Just taking all these numbers, the 2, the 6, the 4, and the 8, that would really be the answer, 2, 6, 4, 8. And the base we would have just beside it is a little 12 to show we are writing that in base 12. However, the question that I'm sure you're asking, How do you go from base 10 to base 12? What? I know. However, what we can do is we can use what is known as the division algorithm to convert from one base to another. So, let's do that with example one. Express 1136 base 10 in base 6. Now this is called the division algorithm because we're just going to go through it and we're going to constantly divide. Yeah! So, take that 1136 and divide it by 6. What we will get is an answer and a remainder. So, 1,136, if you divide that by 6, obviously you get a decimal, but you're not wanting it as a decimal. You want a whole number plus a remainder. So, if you do that, it will give you 189, remainder 2. What we then do is we take this number here, this answer, this 189, and we divide that by 6. Because we're wanting to write it in terms of base 6, we're always dividing by 6. So, Take the answer, the 189, and divide that by 6. If you do that, you will end up with 31 with a remainder of... Brilliant, you get a remainder of 3. What do you think we do next, Claude? Perfect. You take the answer again, take the 31, and you... Divide it by 6. Perfect. So we now take the 31, and we divide it by 6. So, 31 divided by 6, I'm sure you all know that. It will give you 5, a remainder 1. Woo! What do we then do? Well, we take the 5 and we divide it by 6. You got it. So take that answer, the 5, divide it by 6, and that will obviously give you 0, but with a remainder of 5. Because the answer is 0, we stop. We cannot go any further. And the answer that we get when we write this 1136 base 10 in base 6, well, the answer, as it says here, is really the remainders going from bottom to top. So the remainders, you can see, you've got a 5, a 1, a 3, and a 2. So you take those remainders, and starting from the bottom, we would have a 5, 
then a 1, then a 3, then a 2. And beside it, we put base 6 to show that number is written in base 6. Let's try another one, but let's miss out all this part here. I'm just going to show you the working that you have to do. So example 2, use the division algorithm to express 1,234, base 10, in base 7. So just the same as before, we want to take the base we want to write it in, and we are wanting to divide by that. So we start with 1,234, that is base 10, and we're wanting to divide it by 7. You, again, don't want to have it as a decimal. You want to get a whole number and a remainder. So if you divide that, you would end up with 176. And the remainder is going to be 2. Brilliant. What do you then do? Well, you take your answer. Take this 176 and you divide that by 7 as well. So 176 divided by 7. Again, work out the answer plus the remainder. So if you divide that, you will end up getting 25 with a remainder of 1. Again, you want to take your answer, take this 25, and you would divide it by 7. Perfect. Because we have this base 7 that we need to write it in, we always divide by 7. Working that out, you will get 3 remainder 4. Perfect. 3 remainder 4. And we've got an answer of 3, so we divide it by 7. Brilliant. So take the 3 and divide it by 7, and that will give you an answer of 0, but you would have a remainder of 3. Brilliant. So, just again, all we want to do is look at these remainders. We've got the 3, the 4, the 1, and the 2. So our answer that we will have will just be the remainders going from the bottom to the top. So we can say then that the 1,234 base 10, so written in a decimal system, will be 3, 4, 1, 2, and to show it's written in base 7, just put a little base 7 beside it. Woo! Example 3, use the division algorithm to express 27 base 10 in binary. Woo! Binary, what is this? Anybody tell me? Perfect. Well done, Ryan. You are perfectly right. A binary number is a number that is expressed in base 2, and, what's, and it's what we use when it comes to computing. So, we are wanting to write this with base 2, so we will say that we take the 27 and we divide it by 2. Good, because we want to express it in binary, we want to express it in base 2, so we divide by 2. So if we do 27 divided by 2, that will give us 13 with a remainder of 1. Perfect. We then take our answer, take this 13, and we divide that by 2 as well. So 13 divided by 2 will give you 6, remainder 1. What do we then do? Again, you take your answer, take the 6, and you divide that by 2. We're always going to be dividing by 2. It's what we want to write it in, base 2. So divide by 2. That will give you 3 with a remainder of 0. After that, take your answer again. We've got the 3, and we want to divide that by 2. So 3 divided by 2 will give you 1, remainder 1. And again, take your answer, the 1, and divide that by 2. Because that goes 0 times, you will have 0, remainder 1. And because we've got the 0 here, we stop. Once again, the same as the other examples, the answer is going to be just these remainders going from the bottom to the top. So we can say that the 27 in base 10 can be written as... Going from the bottom to the top, we would have at the very bottom, we've got a 1. Above it, we've then got a 1. Above that, we've got a 0. Above that, we've got a 1. And above that, we have a 1. And we will have a little 2 beside that. We've got a base 2 to show that 27 base 10 is 11011 base 2. If a number is written in binary, it will be expressed entirely of just 1s and zeros, which I'm sure lots of you are already aware of. Example 4, express 2213 two, base 4 in base 5. Dun, dun, dun. So all the other examples, what we had was a number written in base 10, and that's easy for us to understand. But here, we're starting off with a number that's written in a different base than we normally use. It's written in base 4. So if it's written in another base, what we have to do, first of all, is convert that to base 10. 
So the division algorithm works when a number is written in base 10 and then we can divide it by that base to get the base that we want. But it has to be written in terms of base 10. Here, if it's written in base 4, we have to work out what that would be in base 10. So the way you will do this, because this 2213 is written in base 4, it means you will have something times 4 to the power of 0. And because you've got a 3 on the end there, it's going to be 3 times 4 to the power of 0. You will then be adding on a 1, and that will be 1 times 4 to the power of 1. Then we will be adding on, take the 2, and that will be 2 times 4 to the power of 2. And then this other 2, that will be 2 times 4 to the power of 3. So really, if it's written in base 4, we're going to have a 4 to the power of 0, 4 to the power of 1, 4 to the power of 2, 4 to the power of 3. And all you're doing is you're multiplying these numbers. Take the 3, that'll be the 3 times the 4 to the power of 0. It'll be the 1 times the 4 to the power of 1. It'll be the 2 times the two, 4 to the power of 2. And it'll be the 2 times the 4 to the power of 3. All you want to do then, how would we go about working that out? Well, just write down what that is. Perfect, you just write down what this is. So if you work out 4 to the power of 3 and multiply it by 2, that's 128. The 4 squared multiplied that by 2, that's 32. 4 to the power of 1 multiplied by 1 is just 4. And obviously 4 to the power of 0 is 1, times that by 3, and you just get 3. Add them together, and it means that the 2213 base 4 will be 167 when it's written in base 10. Now this number is written in base 10, we can convert to base 5, which is what we're asked for, and we can use the division algorithm. So to start this one off, what do we do, Rachel? Perfect. We take the 167 and we divide it by 5. So just take the number that's in base 10 and divide by the base that you want. If you have 167 divided by 5, that will give you 33 remainder 2. Once again, take the answer that's got an answer of 33, and we want to divide that as well by the number that we want to have the base in. So we divide that by 5. That will give us 6, remainder 3. Take the answer again, take the 6 and divide that by 5. That gives us 1, remainder 1. And take the 1 as well, again take the answer and divide that by 5. So 1 divided by 5, that will give you 0, remainder 1. Because you've got 0, you will stop. Always stop when the answer will be 0. You know from the previous examples, the answer is going to be just these remainders going from the bottom to the top. So we can say that the 2, 2, 1, 3, base 4 will be, if we write it, in base 5. Well, at the bottom here we've got a 1. Above that we've got another 1. Above that, we've got a 3. And above that, we've got a 2. And that will be written in base 5. Woohoo! And that will be your answer. Try these questions in the Unit 3 booklet. If you still need the booklet, send me an email and I will fire it off to you. Yeah, so generous. Page 72. Check your answers as you go. Any problems, let me know. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bobo.